Then I've read it. What is your insane slash crazy girlfriend stories? Ori what? This is my first real girlfriend. We dated on and off. I was 16, 18. After her first time dating, she accused me of sexually abusing her. Of her friends. They ended up telling a bunch of people, so basically word got out, that I was a sexual predator. I ended up going to therapy four times a week for about seven months because the farm bushes messed me up. I dropped out of high school because of my embarrassment, heartbreak, and fear. I ended up trying to make things work with her, like a dumbass. After she reached out to me for seven other ones without no contact. He apologized for everything, claimed she cleaned things up with her friends, and admitted she did it out of anger and misses me every day since we broke up. Me being an idiot and still emotionally weak, I believed her. And to find out she slept with at least three dudes while we were broken up, both of which were over 21. He was only 16 at the time. Obviously, things didn't work out. She was incredibly volatile, and ended up telling me she was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. The reason I put up with all those quotations is because she claims her mom pulled her out of therapy after her diagnosis. So I'm not sure she's being truthful. Expected me to drop my entire life with my job and moved move with her to hunting Huntington Beach while she attended college. With absolutely no plan, no money saved, and she wanted me to move in with her once she graduated high school. All I told her now, this was the start of our problems again. We fought a lot and eventually ended things with her after she lashed out at me for trying to help her. After she left home. After I broke up with her, she threatened to commit suicide. Advise her to speak, to seek therapy again, but she stood strong and breaking up with her. The next day, she texted me and told me she was fine. I was looking for a therapist to see. I was happy about that, but refused to get back to get with her. Once again, I made the stupid decision of promising her I would get back together with her. She persisted with the therapy and saw, and I saw an improvement. We stayed in contact for a few weeks. She told me she wanted to have a chat with me someday. All sorts of stuff like that. Found out a few weeks later she was seeing someone else, wasn't actually pursuing therapy, and was just wasting my time. I cut off contact with her, I haven't talked to her in like two years. Despite everything that happened, I still wish the best for her and hope she's very happy. I don't want her involved in my life and neither of us attempted any contact. Now 20 and haven't been able to date anyone seriously since, because of the damage she's caused. I'm well aware I shouldn't have tried to make things work with her. She had serious issues and I was a pushover. Agreed to. Met her at work. I got my number from someone else and they started texting me. Long story short, we hooked up and moved in together. She was going to school a couple of days a week, an hour and a half drive away. We'd go overnight and say she was staying at her parents. Eventually came to find out she was married and when she would go to her class she was staying at her husband's place. He had no idea she was living with me. It got really crazy for a while, she promised me she was divorcing him as she would no longer stay with him. In pretending to be going through with the divorce, but never really was. It didn't last. Three three. And they did go who believed she was spiritually a dragon. I'm not talking about like, oh my god, dragons are totally my spirit animal. It was more like, I'm the reincarnation of a Trevonic Egyptian priestess. This is my first introduction in other kings and indigo children. It was also an empathetic grandpotter and other shit. But here's the thing, it didn't bother me. He didn't really bring it up t too much and she was hella cute. We dated for years, but as time went on, we found ourselves less compatible. But one, th one of the tripping points was involving our dragon heritage. Here I didn't care if he told me, but what do you expect me to do when you tell other people? He told my close friends who didn't take it seriously at all. I was embarrassed as she was pissed. He was also pissed because she wanted me to defend her. We brought up the tea that we are at them. Months later, she broke up with me. I mean, what happened regardless? I more than likely didn't handle it well. Or well, actually, I didn't handle it well. However, in my defense, I had no idea how to handle that situation. It's not like she was practicing another religion. It was just bullshit. Please don't flood my box with magical threats. Slippery three. Honestly, most of my girlfriends have been great, and we almost always parted predictably. I did, however, one briefly date a girl in another city about an hour and a half away. I had to go outside my apartment to call to get cell service because it was a sort of black hole. I was just pacing back and forth on the sidewalk as we chatted. 
It's the middle of a nice sunny day, so whatever. A girl passes me on the street and asks, "Excuse me, is this the 15th Street?" I quickly respond, "No, you got to go two streets up." It thanks me and I go back to the conversation. The whole thing took maybe five seconds. The ground seeing, heard the whole thing over the phone. Not more than say, I'm not being sneaky about my helping people with directions. Nas, what was that? I don't know. I'm a girl who didn't know which street she was on. Yeah, you probably slept with her, and it wasn't a joke. It was an incredibly nasty tone. Like she just caught me flirting with her former friend with benefits or something. That moment honestly ended things. I could see she was super jealous and crazy. I couldn't even give a. As her by directions. So we chatted a bit more, and then I broke things off shortly after. I did have her once live with a roommate who stabbed a knife into my table because she thought I didn't want it. Want to wash a dish? Story four. My very first girlfriend was crazy. Well, honestly, I didn't know any better because she was a lot of first for me. There are a handful of red flags, but as a dumb sixteen-year-old, I ignored them. The one that stuck out to me the most was on. We were having sex. She told me, "Rape me, rape me." I thought she was kidding. I even stopped, laughed, and said, "What? No." She was pretty serious. Couldn't really think straight after that one. Another time, he blamed alcohol for cheating on me. Then later on, added that I wasn't paying enough attention to her. I initially forgave her, but it had me so much, so badly that not so long after I had to split up with her because, because and holy shit, that was a process in itself. It took longer than passing a bill through Congress. After we split up, we would sabotage any girl I talked to, including intentionally writing to short-lived relationships that happened months after we split up. We would befriend them on social media, get to talk with them, and act like they're our friends, and eventually brainwash them into thinking I was this terrible person. Rinse and repeat processed. Yet that issues I found out later on. She had another bit of a spree, which included having a threesome with two other girls and then getting tag teamed by two guys. He was a terrible person overall, pretty manipulating. I'm so glad I learned early on what not to have in a relationship.、It、was just a module of mistakes. And the final story. Every weekend, she would sit me down and force me to go through everything I'd done this week, almost to the hour. And verify it with her texts, messages, chats, and my social media activity. Yeah, aha!、Uh-huh. I went to bed at 12:30 last night. Really? Why did your messenger say you were still active at 2 a.m.? Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what other Reddit stories you guys would be interested in listening to. I'm Rose Wise, and I'll see you guys next time.